Hello, Jamie here. We are going to take some restorative postures. And we won't spend very long in each posture, probably three minutes. And uh, we're not trying to find our edge with restorative yoga. We're trying to restore, like really find some delicious postures that really help aid the body in restoring, just like it says. So we will need a wall that's free of any debris or any bookcases or anything. Um, just wide enough for you to lift your legs straight up, but preferably wide enough for you to also flare your legs out. That's going to be one of the postures. If that's not available, you can do this in the air. It's just a little more restorative if you have something to kind of put your feet against and your legs against. So we're going to start in a seated position. And you can be you can be in your feet in hero's pose, heroine's pose. You can sit in um, cross-legged position or um, however you're comfortable, whatever whatever works for you, maybe in a butterfly. And let's just cup our hands over our knees and let's just gently guide the crown of the head to the ceiling. And then we'll just close our eyes down if that feels right and take a deep breath in and exhale and then using the hands kept around the knees we'll take some seated cat cows so we'll inhale and draw the heart forward as you do you lift the chin if that feels right and then exhale roll back rock back on your tailbone tuck your chin tuck your tailbone inhale rise up with that heart exhale back down inhale rise up with your heart Lifting, opening the heart, exhaling to your cat, rounding back, inhaling, seated cow, pulling the heart forward, and then exhaling back, tucking the tailbone and tucking the chin, and then come on up and have a seat next to the wall. I find this is the best way for me to get my legs up the wall is to sit really close to the wall with the hip in touch with the wall and then scooching back onto the elbows lift one leg and then the other as you squiggle yourself around and then if you need to make contact with the wall a little closer you can kind of just squish along the floor squiggle along the floor and that's a technical term by the way until your legs are up the wall and your back is resting on the ground. Nor Normally, when I teach these classes, I am live with students. So I set up the posture and then I check on my students. Uh, same with Zoom, get you started, check on you. But in this recorded class, I'm just going to stay in the posture and work my little timer here. So. Our legs are up the wall and we're going to close the eyes down. Arms can be in whatever position you like. I find that I really like cactus pose here or T or a high V just to open up the chest. But please feel free to bring your hands uh, maybe on your belly, one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly if that feels really good. We're going to be in this position for three minutes with the feet elevated, legs up the wall, and then feel your back, your neck, and your head in contact with the floor, your hips, and your gluteals. Your feet are, again, they're about hip distance apart to start. And let's close down the eyes. Maybe tuck the chin just slightly to really flatten that neck. And then let's take some breathing exercises here if you like. You can just breathe randomly if you like or take a deep breath in and feel how when you inhale, you actually can feel the pressure on your backside. And then exhale. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Let's just visualize a moment if that feels restorative to you, or you can just focus on your breath. 
but maybe if you picture the color red for the root chakra. Hmm. Finding the fullness of your inhale and the emptiness of your exhale. And maybe seeing that color red if that resonates with you. Fingers are relaxed. Heart is beating, the blood is not having to, or the, excuse me, the heart is not having to work as hard to pump that blood back up to the heart from the feet. We're allowing gravity, oh, I'm starting to yawn, it's already working. <laughs> We're allowing that gravity to help. Gravity is helping to just bring the blood back to the heart. The veins love this. This restorative legs up the wall, giving those veins a break. You might start to notice that you start to get tired and start to notice the change in your nervous system, starting to slow things down. Let's change our position only by taking the feet wide, allowing the legs to separate to your widest straddle. And if this is not comfortable, of course, back off. We're trying to restore, and if this feels very, um, you know, like edgy, like it's not comfortable or restorative anymore, that's a sign that it's time to take it, you know, um, back off of it just a little bit. If your arms are comfortable, great. If you want to try something different, let's place the right hand on the heart and the left hand on the belly. And as you're doing this, let's maybe visualize the color orange. Now, if you feel like you're efforting with your arms and you just want to relax, just let your hands down. Orange, sacral chakra. You don't need to think about anything. Just maybe Thinking about that sacrum, if you want to, if it draws interest or curiosity, but if it takes away from your practice, we just let it go. Feeling your breath beneath your hands if they're on your body. Feeling it internally as your diaphragm muscle helps to bring that air in and push that air out by moving up and down. As you inhale, the diaphragm moves down, allowing air. As you exhale, it moves up, pushing the air out. Soften between your eyebrows. Let that relax. Mm. Breathing. Nourishing. Restoring. Noticing if your body feels different. Is it relaxing? Is it trying to let go a little deeper? Is it allowing you to let go deeper? Are you 
heavy, heavy into the floor. Get this beautiful body. You made a choice to restore. Charge, charge those batteries and regroup. Let's bring those feet back up the wall, gently, slowly moving. When we've been there for a while, we want to take everything nice and slow. And let's take a butterfly posture by drawing the bottoms of the feet together as you lower the feet towards the hips along the wall and flare the knees. And again, this is another one where you can let your feet be heavy and draw the feet down as low as they'll go. And if you prefer, you can take them back up a notch if they feel too heavy. You can also support with your hands if it feels like it's too much. If it feels like the weight of those legs on your hips is not restorative and edgy, just support them. Put the feet back up and support your hands underneath. And then find stillness. Find your breath. If you like to think about something or to just draw some attention to the color yellow, solar plexus, that third chakra located in your gut area. Finding your grounding underneath you. Maybe retucking your chin just a little bit, flattening that neck along the ground. Allowing for this posture to do all the magic. Healing. Restoring. Slowing things down. Softening between the brow. Maybe parting the teeth slightly and just relaxing that jaw. Some of my students like to take their jaw right and left very slowly here. Mm. And then allowing still the teeth to not fully come together, but maybe bring the lips together and bring a gentle smile to your face. Feel how that feels. Smiling releases endorphins. Breathing, nurturing your soul and your body. Allowing this gentle, yummy movement Gently draw the legs back up the wall for legs up the wall again. Hmm. This time we're just going to keep those legs straight up again for the final three minutes of legs up the wall. And then when we come out of this posture, we'll go to a child's pose. So just keeping those legs long, neck is long. This time I'm going to place both my hands on my belly. And maybe 
Visualize your heart chakra and the color green for that fourth chakra that links the three physical chakras below the heart to the three spiritual chakras above. Feeling the breath. Feeling the rise of the belly, every inhale, and the lowering every exhale. Widening the ribs on the next inhale, feel your breath from side to side. Exhale, knit those ribs together, tone those abdominals, push the air out, and then just relax. Let those arms come out to a high V, palms up. Fingers are relaxed. Toes are relaxed. Your throat is relaxed. Eyebrows, pull them apart instead of furrowing the brow. See if you can pull your eyebrows apart and then relax. If it feels right, extend your arms out to your sides in a T, maybe palms down. If that doesn't feel right, palms back up. Connecting to your breath. And gently bring the knees down and Take the knees over to one side as you exit the wall and then hold yourself in the fetal position with your bottom arm serving as a pillow and your knees up into your chest. <coughs> and we'll just be here for a few breaths. Allowing all those body fluids to sink into that side. Hugging those knees in tight, safe, wonderful embryotic position. We'll take one more breath here. Hmm. And as you're ready, bring yourself up. Take ourselves all the way around into child's pose. So I invite you to try both versions of child's pose. We'll stay in each one for a minute. So let's go extended child's pose with feet together, knees apart, if this feels okay for you. Always knowing you can put a pillow or a folded blanket back there to decrease the angle of the knee bend if you need and or placing a blanket underneath your knees. And then let's gently walk our hands out and then gently lower the chest and the forehead towards the ground, resting your forehead on the ground or on a pillow if that feels better. And then make sure your hips are all the way back, feet uh, uh, to where you're sitting on your feet, unless you have a blanket or a wedge. And just reach those arms and then let them relax. Take some deep restorative breaths here. We'll take four more breaths here. 
Inhale. And exhale. Sinking deeper into the ground, letting go. Three more. Exhale, relaxing deeper into your posture, allowing the back and the hips to stretch. Two more. Last one here in this position. Gently bring yourself up and then bring the knees together. Sit back down on the feet and we'll try a traditional child's pose. And again, if it's not comfortable, you do whatever feels right. In this one, we bring again the chest right on top of the knees. Set the forehead on the ground or on a pillow. And it might be more like the top of your head. Arms now come around the body. And breathe. See if you can let go on every exhale. Melting into the floor. Like ice to water. And water to gas. Feeling your body being breathed. Relaxing between the brows. Relaxing the jaw. Allowing that body to be heavy into the ground. Feeling the air on your skin. One more deep breath here. Mm. And bring yourself back up to a seated position. And maybe we got you in a place where you can now Rest and restore, maybe go to bed, drop your chin, close your eyes, maybe bring your hands to your heart. I bow in reverie to you, thank you for doing this restorative practice with me. Namaste. Namaste.